Hey there people, Zinger here. Postal brain damage is honestly the most fun out of a boomer shooter I've gotten in a few years. Now maybe it's my crude sense of humor. Or my fascination with the premise of being able to go fast. But this game really just checks all the boxes for me. To the point that I actually went out of my way to try and 100% the game with varying degrees of success. Between the movement mechanics, weapons, maps, and even the shitload of references the game makes, it just hits so good. Now, this game isn't actually developed by Running With Scissors. It's actually joining the club of spin-off titles made by separate studios. Except this time it was actually well made. A shocker, I know. Also, on a side note, did you know Postal Free was the only main series game that wasn't made by Running With Scissors? Maybe that's why it sucked so much ass. Speaking of Postal Free, Corey Cruz makes his return in Brain Damaged, voicing the Postal Dude's many one-liners and cutscenes. Now in my humble opinion, I think Corey is honestly the greatest fit for this game. I know Rick is THE Postal Dude, and I know John is... Would you please sign my petition? Yo mama! Crap. Well, something, to say the least. But Corey's take on Postaltude retains the tone of Rick's, while also having his own unique spin on it, coming off as someone who honestly just wants to be done with the bullshit he is so often put for it. As I said, it's honestly the greatest fit. Looks like you're just fucking raw on the inside. Now, obviously a game can't be great without awesome gameplay, especially a game like Brain Damage. Fortunately, the gunplay, movement, and level design is all on point. Speaking of movement, I don't think I've played a game of movement as fun as this since Titanfall 2, which to be fair isn't saying much because I don't really play movement shooters. But anyway, getting back on topic, from bunny hopping, slide hopping, and hook swinging, this movement all feels very natural and intuitive. Personally, I started the game with very limited movement, but by the end I was bunny hopping through levels and dodging enemies' bullets like it's the goddamn Matrix. Moving on now to talking about the gunplay, I only need to say three words. Super. Duper. Shotgun. An obvious reference to the Doom Super Shotgun. The Super Duper Shotgun is a double barrel with an infinite use, no cooldown grapple hook on it. Yes, you heard that right. This is a shotgun that lets you fling yourself around with no cooldown. Honestly, it's great. Shooting it is great thanks to the sound design. The hook is great. It's just perfect. Now, if you're not sold on the gunplay already, just spend 5 minutes with the variety of other weapons and I'm sure you'll fall in love. Honestly, I think my only gripe of any weapon is the rocket launcher's ult fire being lackluster to say the least. I mean, it's the holy hand grenade, and you're gonna give me this shit? Yeah, okay, fuck off, bro. Brain damage level design is... Well, some levels are better than others, to put it lightly. One major criticism that I've seen floating around is that ammo is quite scarce. Although, personally, I never noticed until I tried speedrunning levels, because during my playthroughs, I would autistically search every nook and cranny on the map for secrets. Speaking of secrets, Postal's maps usually contain multiple secrets for you to discover. Ranging from simple ammo dumps to the greatest thing I've ever seen. Actually, now that we're on the topic of references, I suppose I should bring this up. Because this is Postal, it's going to be jammed with references and jokes about other media. Now, unlike some reviewers, 
I'm not gonna pan Postal for having humor that is literally years out of date, because personally, I believe that's one of the pillars of making a good Postal Here's game. Gary because, let's be honest, if these jokes were still relevant, we would all be dying on the inside because fucking 5G Siren Head showed up. You're here for the story, asshole? Well, lucky you, because I've got the whole thing chronicled right here for your viewing pleasure. If you couldn't tell by the title, this game takes place in Postal Dude's damaged brain, where he must chase down and ultimately kill a perverted version of himself who stole his TV. Honestly, it's not much, but for a Postal Boomer Shooter, I'm not gonna complain. Now, I think I've said enough about this game, but I have just a few final words to say about it. Postal Brain Damaged is a good game, a great game even. Go buy it. If not for the gameplay, then simply because I want more Postal games to be made in the future, and large profits almost always make sequels a reality. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Next time I will be playing a degenerate game that I believe the majority of you will enjoy, so keep on the lookout for that. And with that said, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.